Safety fears about the ageing city loop have been confirmed in a damning ombudsman's report. It reveals little or no action has been taken over the past decade to fix major problems, which could prove disastrous in an emergency. Live now to Justine McKenzie. Justine, not much comfort for commuters there. That's exactly right, Pete. We've spoken to quite a few of them this evening and there is a bit of unease. These are damning findings, problems that train drivers and whistleblowers have been trying to expose for quite some time now. Now it's all here, it's all in this report and the government and Metro have no choice but to act. More than a decade of cracks, leaks and failures to act. The scathing ombudsman's report reveals the city loop is a disaster waiting to happen. We think that it's a massive issue that there's no effective fire plan and strategy to get out of Flinders Street Station. The list goes on. Cracked and corroded concrete, damaged fire services pipes and a lack of smoke detectors. Deficiencies with the ventilation system and problems communicating with the driver in the event of an emergency. I'm not travelling anymore under there. Then there's the risk to all the people in the buildings in and around the stations. The report found that Melbourne Central was the most problematic because of the potential for smoke to rise up into the shopping complex. Damningly, all these problems were identified and detailed in at least seven engineering reports over 11 years. But each time, the Transport Department failed to act and failed to listen. It's, it's really a, just part of the systematic neglect of public transport infrastructure that's gone on for decades. And it's been revealed the department failed to alert the government. The Transport Minister claims until today he didn't know the half of it. Yes, I got information in relation to some of the issues uh, in the loop, but I didn't get the comprehensive and complete story. The government is promising to adopt all the Ombudsman's recommendations and spend whatever it takes. Work to improve safety has begun, expected to be complete by June. Until then... I can assure all of our customers that the rail network is safe and the loop is safe. Justine McKenzie, Nine News.